G'day viewers, well, moving on to my next meter now. This is a Landis and Gaia three phase four wire meter. Number 63, 493136, type ML262XDF6, 3 times T40 volt, 3 times 10, 60 amp pair, 67.5 volts per kilowatt hour, 50 hertz, 115 slash 6. So, whole current meter. As you can tell, what a big copper um, winding going to those coils there, the low coils. This is uh, from 1989, the V certified 1992. So three years later, it was recertified. It's the same um, top as our old three-phase meter, which the bloody power core wouldn't let me have. Bastards. Anyway, this is a model prior to that. The one we had was a 120 amp model. I showed that in a couple of videos back. That's why this one here up for um, and give it watch it rivets load real up. Fuel was all wired up. Active in, active in, active in, active out, active out, active out, active out to the power point, to the load, neutral out, neutral in, time switch in here, so one, so D, then neutral for the time switch to the rate changer there. Alright, that's, I don't know if that'll fit on the way when it sits on the bubble, so we'll see. Give it a variac test to make sure all is safe, then we can put a load for it and watch it rev up, rev up its load wheels. Okay, variac and zero. Power on. Turn it up. Yep, all is good. Alright, flick that switch. Watch that little thing move slowly. No, all right, try again. I must have the wrong um, connection on this one. <laughs> yeah, got to find the right um, connection for that bait changer. Plug, safety first. Okay, viewers, I've found the right combination for this uh, bait changer. Judging by the diagram, it actually goes on there, Y1, so uh, the, the second phase in. So here, it connects on to, and it works. Alright, oh, let's power on. Get that four on the center, so power on. Ten amp load. Sixty-seven point five revs per kilowatt hour. Nice patterns on the load wheel. That's some of the um old payment lettuce and guy as well. That's their um, trademark pattern on their load wheels. That checker plate finish. Get that full spot on. All right, let's try another uh, other tariff. Uh, yeah. Leave it on the other one. Leave it on the high rate. This meter would still be accurate. Track magnets are in there. There you go. There's your adjustment. Uh, there's no H, so none of these I've seen, none of these meters in, in, uh, have, have anti-reverse in them. So these could all run on, run on the solar um, inverter set up and they'll spin backwards and you feed power back in the grid, known as exporting power. Alright, 
seems to be working quite well. Power off. No creep. Power off. There you go. That advanced a little marks there, 100 watt hour marks on that on the end of that low, uh, number wheel. And that would have been the same for where I started. So that's moved about 100 watt hours from where I uh, left off. So seems to be accurate. So it should be. All right, let's get this uh, get some muck off it. Let's get it all nice and shiny. The cave of yours, it cleaned up pretty good. Just mostly there. I don't know if it was bird crap on here or what, but most of it came off. Nice and shiny now. Turn when I cut back on. Alright. Looks quite well, so. There's the specs again. 30 volt, 30 to 10, 16 amp max, 67.5 vertical per kilowatt hour, 50 hertz. Produced in Australia. Type ML262 XDF6. FIFO is 4 wire meter. V certified 1992. I'm not sure why I did that three years later when it was um, actually made in 1989. They must have, um, the installation this must have been used on must have required very strict uh, accuracy or something. There you go. Thanks for watching.